When big hedge funds and institutions want to enter the market, they cannot enter at any given price. They need to make sure that they enter at the fair value of the asset. Therefore, they use a special indicator known as the VWAP. In this video, we will be learning what the VWAP indicator is and how to use it. But before we start, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. With that being said, let's get into today's video. The VWAP is a short form for Volume Weighted Average Price. VWAP is the average price that the stock has traded for the day, based on price and volume. The VWAP helps us in understanding whether the price is relatively expensive or cheaper. The VWAP represents the fair value of the asset for that particular day. So, if the price is trading above the VWAP, it will be considered as an expensive price. And if the price is trading below the VWAP, it will be considered as a cheaper price. The VWAP has gained a lot of popularity among retail traders in the recent years, but the big players have been using it for years. For example, let's say that a big investor is looking to buy this asset. He will not blindly buy at any price. The VWAP will be his benchmark. Hence he will look to buy when the price is near or below the VWAP. Such a trader will be considered successful if he manages to buy the whole position around the VWAP. The VWAP is calculated using the open of the price. Then it gets calculated in real time until the last candle of the day. The calculation uses intraday data only. Hence, VWAP is an intraday indicator only. But, it can also be used in swing trading for entries. The formula for calculating the VWAP is as follows. First we multiply the cumulative average price by volume. Then we divide the total from the cumulative average price. I won't go into much details as to how is it calculated. The more important part for us is the application and implementation of VWAP. We can use the VWAP for broadly two things. Identifying the trend. And identifying support and resistance levels. We can the VWAP to identify the trend of the market. When the price is trading above the VWAP for longer periods of time, it will be considered to be in an uptrend. Similarly, if the price is trading below the VWAP for longer periods of time, it will be considered to be in a downtrend. We can also use the VWAP as a dynamic area of support and resistance. Since a lot of traders and hedge funds use the VWAP, it often acts as a support and resistance. Therefore, whenever the price is near the VWAP, we should pay a close attention to the price action to see if the VWAP is acting as a support or resistance. Now, most of the trading platforms offer the VWAP indicator in the form of three lines. The central line is the VWAP itself. The upper line is a standard deviation above the VWAP, and the lower line is a standard deviation below the VWAP. To the surprise of many traders, these upper and lower lines are powerful areas of support and resistance. But at the same time, in a strong uptrend, the price will move around the upper band without any difficulty. Similarly, in a strong downtrend, the price moves around the lower band without facing any rejection. I personally like to use the VWAP in two standard deviation settings, rather than the default one standard deviation setting. Now, let's come to the juicy part of the video that is the strategy. In this particular strategy we will be using two indicators, VWAP and the RSI. The RSI stands for Relative Strength Index. The RSI indicator helps us in measuring the momentum of the market. When the value of the RSI is above 70, it is considered as overbought. Therefore we can expect a downwards move. Similarly, when the value of the RSI is below 30, it is considered as oversold. 
Hence, we can expect the price to make a higher move. In our strategy, we will first identify the trend of the market and then combine RSI and VWAP to identify our trades. Since the strategy is an intraday strategy, we will be using the one minute chart to trade this. Let us look at an example. Here on this chart, we see that the price was trading around the upper band without any resistance. And the price was trading above the VWAP as well. So we can confirm that the price was in an uptrend. So in an uptrend, our goal would be to enter the trend on a pullback. And if you remember, what is the best place to enter in an uptrend? The VWAP. Therefore, we will wait for the price to come near the VWAP. So here, we see that the price makes a pullback and comes near the VWAP. Now, note that it does not exactly touch the VWAP, but it is really close. At the same time we see that the value of the RSI drops below 30. If you remember, we have previously established that we can expect the price to make a higher move if the RSI drops below 30. A bonus point here is that we can see that the VWAP has previously provided support to the price. All of these factors lead us to the conclusion that this is an excellent opportunity to buy the stock and enter the uptrend. So, we will buy here. We can keep our stop loss below the VWAP line, and we can place our targets at the recent highs. And as you can see, the price made a strong move on the upside. Therefore, we achieved profits on this trade. Let us now look at a downtrend. Here on this chart, we see that the price was consistently trading below the VWAP. We also see that the price stayed around the lower band for a long time. So, we can say that the price was in a strong downtrend. So, we would want to sell here. But, we will not blindly sell at any price. We will wait for the price to make a pullback to the VWAP line. So we wait. As you can see, late in the day, we see the price make a pullback to the VWAP. At this point we see that the price was near the VWAP. We can also see that the RSI was above 70. So, according to the RSI, we can expect the price to move lower. So there is a strong confluence between the RSI and VWAP. Therefore we will place a sell trade here. We will keep our stop loss above the VWAP and we will place our targets around the recent swing low. So these were the trades on trending market. Now let us look at trades in a ranging market. Here on this chart, we can see that the day started here. The price stayed above the VWAP but it constantly found rejection at the upper band. Then, finally the price broke below the VWAP and came close to the lower band. At this point there is no clear direction of the trend. The recent rejections at the upper bands prove that there is no trend. So in a sideways range, we expect the price to find support at the lower band. When the price reaches the lower band, we see that the value of the RSI goes below 30. Hence, the RSI is also indicating an upwards reversal. If you look more closely, we can also see that the RSI has made a bullish divergence. All of these factors indicate that the price should make an upwards move. So we enter a buy position on this candle. We keep our stop loss below the lower band and we keep our targets at the VWAP. As you can see, we made profits on this trade. Then, on the same day, the price broke the VWAP and touched the upper band. At this point, we still see no direction of trend. So, we expect the price to find resistance at the upper line. At the same time, we see that the RSI is above 70 and it has also created a bearish divergence. All of these factors indicate that we could see a down move in price. Hence, we sell on this candle. We keep our stop loss above the upper band and we place our targets at the VWAP. And as you can see, we made profits on this trade as well. So this is how you trade the VWAP in a sideways market. In this video, 
I have shown you how to use VWAP in trending and sideways market. Just like any other strategy, you will make losses in this strategy as well. But the probabilities of success are much higher than the losses. So practice this strategy and paper trade it before putting your hard earned money in it. That brings us to the end of this video. If you like this video, then be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. See you soon.